All right, ready to dive in. Today, we're looking at Cancer and Capricorn compatibility. And before you jump to opposites attract, let's be clear, this is way deeper than simple magnetism. Absolutely, you're talking earth meeting water, Think emotional tides meeting structured mountains. It's a fascinating mix right from the start. Our source material definitely plays up that initial attraction. What makes it more than just your typical opposites attract situation? It's how their core natures play off each other. So Cancer brings that emotional deck, that intuitive water sign energy. And then you have Capricorn, ruled by Saturn, all about patience thinking long game. So instead of a head-on collision, it's more of a... A dance. Yeah, I like that. But like any good dance, there's a balance. And that translates into the intimacy because Capricorn's patience lets Cancer really open up, knowing there's that stable foundation. Which makes me think about how the source material talks about Capricorn being one of the least trusting signs. Doesn't quite seem to fit with wanting security, does it? It's about understanding where that need for security comes from. A lot of times it's past stuff, maybe some heartbreaks that made them build those walls up. So it's not that they don't want to trust, it's more like... You've got to build it slowly. Brick by brick. Which makes me think about how cancer approaches trust. They seem much more ready to... Lead with their heart. Exactly. And with that strong moral compass we've talked about. So imagine cancer, ready to trust, to commit, and they hit Capricorn's reservations. The sorts even suggest cancer might find that endearing at first, but... That can only last so long, right? Exactly. Which really shows how differently they can approach something so fundamental. For sure. Can be a point of tension. Or, if both signs are willing to work at it, a huge opportunity to grow. But let's shift gears to communication, because here's where things get kind of out there. Our source suggests Cancer and Capricorn might tap into something beyond words, like ancestral memories, a shared well of experiences. Okay, I'll bite. What's that even mean, practically speaking? Picture this. They're finishing each other's sentences, picking up on these tiny emotional cues that other people miss. Mm almost an unspoken language that goes deeper than this lifetime, you know? Mm. Which, if it clicks, that's powerful stuff. But the source does mention some potential downsides if that connection doesn't happen right away. Yeah, if they miss that deeper level. Communication gets messy. They express emotions so differently, they might completely misunderstand each other. The source even uses these examples like Capricorn is the career-obsessed lunatic and Cancer is the clingy housewife to show how those stereotypes can trip them up. Oof, yeah. Those are harsh. But it highlights how even with that initial attraction, chemistry isn't enough. You got to fight against those assumptions. 100%. Active listening, being empathetic, really trying to get where the other person's coming from, especially when it's different from you. And this is even more important with what the source calls karmic debt, that whole love story waiting to be resolved thing. Okay, karmic debt. I got to admit, that phrase always throws me a bit. Is it really as intense as it sounds? It can be. But it's not about, like punishment or anything more like mm. imagine a soul contract right yeah there are these lessons patterns to work through maybe even from a past life and for cancer and capricorn their relationship that becomes the stage where these old unresolved issues they bubble up so not just their sun signs going head to head there's this whole other layer of drama exactly but, yeah and remember what we were saying about their different emotional styles cancer the water sign feels everything deeply but capricorn ruled by saturn much more reserved cautious with their feelings. So trying to resolve those karmic issues with those different styles. Sounds like walking a tightrope over a volcano. You're not wrong. But the source stresses, acceptance is key here. They have to get that these emotional differences are part of why they're together. See those challenges as a chance to grow, both individually and as a couple. Is it always this intense? Or is there like light at the end of this karmic tunnel? It's going to be a bumpy ride, that's for sure. Yeah. But the source also says this pairing, they've got incredible love potential. It's about choosing to see those challenges as something that brings them closer, not tears them apart. Not your typical fairy tale romance then, more like a chance to really evolve together. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. And even amidst all that karmic intensity, let's not forget what else these two have going for them. The source really emphasizes their shared values, stability, practicality. Right, because that seems counterintuitive with how different they are. Those shared values must be a huge relief. Huge. It's like finding an anchor in the middle of a storm. Both of them, they crave that security, building a life together, something grounded in the real world that can really counterbalance the emotional ups and downs. It's like that whole yin and yang thing, you know, totally opposite forces coming together to make something whole. But speaking of balance, even with those shared values, 
These two need their space too, right? You're reading my mind. The source talks about how important those shared activities are to keep the spark alive, but also how you can't neglect individual needs. Finding that sweet spot between us time and me time. Crucial. Give me an example. What does that look like day to day for a Cancer Capricorn couple? All right. Say it's the weekend. Capricorn in their element might be planning to like really dig into a new project, right? right. Totally absorbed in that. Meanwhile, Cancer's picturing a cozy day, maybe redecorating their space. Both totally valid ways to spend time, but might not bring them closer. So it's about recognizing that even if they enjoy similar things, how they recharge, that might be different and that's okay. 100%. Yeah. Maybe they compromise. One night dedicated to the work project, the next is for a shared activity they both enjoy. It boils down to that communication, being willing to compromise, and really trying to understand each other. Which, let's be real, that's pretty universal relationship advice, right? Not, <laughs> Not just for the Cancer Capricorn couples out there. Yes. Wow, we have covered a lot of ground with this Cancer Capricorn dynamic. We have. It's definitely a pairing that keeps you on your toes, that intensity, those karmic lessons, the emotional depths, but at the same time, that sheer desire for stability. That could be incredibly powerful. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. But here's the million dollar question. With all this karmic stuff, does that mean they're destined to be together or are they setting themselves up for heartbreak? That's the question, isn't it? And honestly, there's no easy answer. Our source calls it a once in a lifetime kind of love, but also admits it can be exhausting if they try to change each other. So less about a pre-written fairy tale, more about the choices they're making every day. Exactly. They get to write their own ending. It all comes down to the choices they make, both on their own and together. So for all our listeners out there, maybe in a Cancer Capricorn relationship right now, what's the key takeaway from all this? Don't shy away from the tough stuff. Embrace those challenges because within those struggles, that's where you find the greatest opportunity to grow. And more than anything, never underestimate understanding both of yourself and your partner when you're trying to make sense of this karmic connection. Beautifully put. And you know, it makes me wonder if we dug even deeper into this karmic debt idea, could those past life influences be the missing piece of the puzzle here? Something to think about. Absolutely. Always more to uncover. And on that note, we'll leave you with that thought-provoking question. Until next time, stay curious and keep those relationships thriving. It's like the universe is saying, hey, there's a ton of love here, but you got to put in the work. And not just work, work smart. <laughs> because let's be real, trying to force a cancer into a box right. or expecting Capricorn to just pour their heart out constantly. Right. Recipe for disaster. For sure. It's about appreciating what makes them different, not mm -hmm. trying to erase it. Mm -hmm. Which brings us right back to why this pairing is so interesting in the first place, right? You got that emotional depth from Cancer, the grounded, practical side of Capricorn. If they can figure out how to use those strengths, not just in the romance, but like in their everyday life as a team, that's where the real magic happens. So it's bigger than just will they, won't they. It's about the potential they have together if they can figure out how to navigate all this. Exactly. And that's something that goes way beyond just astrology. You know, mm -hmm. whether you believe in all that karmic stuff or not, every relationship has its challenges. This pairing just kind of puts those challenges in the spotlight, makes them impossible to ignore. Puts them front and center. I'm almost like a, I don't know, a myth or something. And that takes us back to what the source said at the end, this whole love story waiting to be resolved idea. It's almost like they're meant to teach each other something, whether they end up together long term or not. That's a really interesting way to think about it. And maybe that's the most important thing for our listeners to take away from all this. Even if your own birth chart isn't a perfect match with your partners, just understanding these archetypes, these energies that Cancer and Capricorn represent that gives you new tools to look at your own relationships. It's like you're looking through a new lens, you know? Those mm -hmm. big questions about love, commitment, what it really means to connect with someone. Exactly. It starts with knowing yourself, yeah. what you need, and then taking that same curiosity, that compassion, into your relationships. Love that. So to everyone listening, whether you're a Cancer, a Capricorn, or just someone who finds all this cosmic stuff fascinating, I hope this deep dive gave you a lot to think about. Me too. Yeah. Always a pleasure to explore these topics with someone as curious as you. Until next time, keep exploring those connections, asking those big questions, and never forget the most rewarding journeys often take us to the deepest points of ourselves.